What's up guys, it's Spray Coyote, and today starts the engine build. So we have a 5.0 Gen 1 Coyote block in front of me here. And as you guys can see, I started putting the crank in. The reason why I didn't start from the very, very beginning of this build is because honestly, the ARP instructions, along with several videos on YouTube, I'm just trying to save time because these videos add up time really, really quickly. So we got one through four in per the instructions of ARP. Now, quick note, if you guys are running ARP studs or have the intentions on running ARP studs, it is absolutely necessary to align hone these blocks. The reason why you line hone is because the stresses from the OEM hardware are not the same stresses applied to the block or the main caps when they're torqued down. These have completely different torque specifications and they provide a much stronger clamp force to the actual main caps to the block. So you need to align hone your block um, to be able to install these um, ARP hardware in here. So once you get one through four in, I'm gonna show you guys how to set the thrust properly on the back side of this. So on these Coyotes, we have a one piece thrust washer system along with a thrust bearing in the back cap. So the thrust bearing goes on cap number five just like that, and it will look like this. Before you put in number five, you will need to add a little bit of lube to the sides with slots in it. The other side of the thrust washer is smooth, and that side faces the block. You can put a little bit of lube back there, but it's really not necessary. So we're gonna slide it in. You can only put these in one way. I don't know why people keep telling you to Slots face you and the shiny side faces the block. Well, you can't put it in any other way. So this is literally a one piece system. So you can see the little tang that fits back in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this crank all the way back and then slide it all the way forward. So now the crank is, is seating all the way this way towards the front of the block. And you can see right there, the tang is touching the crank and the block surface right down there. Once you guys see that, you add a little bit of your engine assembly lube. I'm using engine assembly grease from Driven because this stuff is gonna be on here for a lot longer than lube. And this block is probably gonna sit for a good week or two before um, I actually get this bad boy installed into the Stang. So what we're gonna do is install this cap. I'm gonna have to put the camera down and when I come back, I'll show you guys with the cap all the way on. So I'm gonna talk you guys through setting the thrust back here because I can't do it while holding the camera as well. So after you get that one piece slid back here, like I showed you guys, and you grease the top of the cap um, with some engine assembly grease, then you put the cap on and then you only thread these down loose, right? You don't want these to have any type of torque or not even really hand tight for real, to be honest. You really kind of want them a little bit loose, but seat it all the way down. What you're going to do, what I found kind of easiest is take a little bit of an extension and then just a couple taps here, a couple taps here, a little bit harder than that, but um, just to show you guys and what you guys want to do is you want to get the cap as far forward as as you possibly can Once the cap is far forward Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a dead blow and you're gonna beat on the back side of the Or of the crank snout. You're gonna beat on the front of it, right? What that's gonna do is it's gonna shove both the cap and the crank back what that makes that happen is it makes the back of the one piece thrust washer down here in line with the side of the thrust bearing inside your cap when the crank is back here. But what we want is we want them to be aligned towards the block. So after you bang on it with the hammer, a pry bar would, would be best ideally, but a screwdriver in my opinion, works a little bit better because it can fit into these types, tight little spots where you have a counterweight and a main cap. Once your block 
is all the way that way, what you're going to do is you're going to pull the block towards you. So if you're on the inside of a counterweight in this, the way to do that would be to push away from you to get the crank to go. If you guys are on the back side like this, it's not going to work because if you push, you're pushing the crank back. If you pull, it's not going to do anything but pry up on here. So after you gain that leverage, shifting the crankshaft towards the front of the block, right? That is when you want to either have a friend or if you have the flathead screwdriver in one hand, right? And you have it in here. When you're pushing away from you to try to push the crank towards you, that's when you want to tighten these down. You tighten these down and you will feel it. Because you've gone over here and did those little taps when the hardware was loose, right? You shoved it as far possible forward as it can go. Then you shove the crank back, which moved the cap as far back as it can go. Now you're trying to go back forward again, but this time we're gonna have both of the one piece thrust washer and the bearing in alignment. So we're applying pressure, right? Pushing the crank towards the front. And then that's when you wanna to torque down your, your number five main cap. So you follow the same torque sequence as you did for the rest of them. 45 for the outers, 80 for the inners, and a three step for the inners and a two step for the outers. And that is all there is to it, to installing your crankshaft um, and your main caps. That's literally it guys. It's super easy. Um, there's not really a whole crap ton of videos that go really in depth with the thrust washer. There are a couple, but not generally speaking, when a guy is actually building the coyote, he just has it done and expects everybody to understand what it is. But that's all there is to it for this. Um, next video, we'll show you guys installation of pistons.